welcome back. We are continuing our conversation with a handbook for teachers of African American children by Principal Kofele. And this week is all about the triple L's, as I like to call it, being a lifelong learner. All right, so tip number one, professional development. You want to make sure that you are always sharpening those tools that are going to make you a better educator, right? We can always improve. So whether that is doing a book study, whether that is going to a conference, going to a seminar, or YouTube University, which if you are watching this um, video right now, you are actually in a professional development. So good job, right? But there are tons of videos on YouTube that can help us to grow professionally as educators, right? And then tip number two, you wanna make sure that you have a, a student and family survey that is in place. You wanna make sure that you're asking questions to your students and your families about ways that you can improve or uh, ideas or concepts that your students would like to learn about that you can actually incorporate into your lessons so that they're a little more um, invested and interested in the things that you have to say because it'll be something that they're actually interested in learning about, right? And then tip number three, you want to make sure that you are completing peer observation. So I have part one, because this is the part where I want you to actually take yourself out of the classroom, put yourself in someone else's classroom, take notes on some of those things you need to work on, and then go back into your classroom and try to implement them. I knew when I first started teaching that I struggled with classroom management. So I left my class, went to Ms. Johnson's class, who was my mentor, and I observed some things that she did and I went back and I implemented them into my classroom, right? And then peer observation part two, I want you to invite a colleague in, inside of your classroom so that they can actually observe you and give you some feedback. Maybe they see some things that you can improve with your body language or the way that you speak to the students or some things that your students may be doing that you can't see because you're wrapped into your uh, teaching and maybe they see those things and they can say, hey, I know this X, Y, Z. Maybe you could work on these things so that, you know, your classroom flows better, better and things are um, working better in the classroom. And they can also give you some um, honest feedback on things that you're doing well. OK, so making sure that you take part in going to going into someone else's classroom and inviting others into your classroom. And then the last thing, your personal development, right? If you've ever flown on a plane before, they always say if anything is to happen, put on your oxygen mask first before you try to assist somebody else. And that's what personal development is all about. Making sure that you are comfortable in who you are, making sure that you know your self-worth, making sure that you are confident, right? Because those are things that we can't teach someone else until we are secure in those things ourselves. So making sure that you're confident so that you can teach your students how to be confident, especially if we're talking about African-American children, right? Knowing your worth so that you can teach them their worth because in the climate that they're learning in and they're going to school in, a lot of times no one is, is telling them how talented they are, how gifted they are, right? How, how brilliant, they are as thinkers and, and how creative their mind is, right? They may not hear that from anywhere else. So try to make sure that it starts, not try, make sure that it starts with you and make sure that you're saying it to yourself as well, that you're talented and that you're beautiful and that you're creative so that you can in turn say it to them and, and mean it when you actually say it to them, all right? So we're focused on being a lifelong learner this week. We're focused on developing ourselves professionally, um, asking our students and our families questions, observing our peers, having our peers examine us, and we're examining ourselves by developing professionally, okay? I have one more chapter left in this book. I'm so excited that I've been able to share it with you. Um, next week is going to be all about parental engagement, and I'll be sharing some tips around that. I thank you all for watching. Please stay connected with me. 
And I will see you all next week.